The Radeon R9 295X2 officially has a successor. At GDC 2016, Radeon Technology Groups unveiled the Radeon Pro Duo. The Radeon Pro Duo is AMD's newest flagship dual GPU graphics card. This card is not only aimed at the extreme enthusiast, but targeted solely towards the VR market. More powerful computing platforms are rapidly leading to greater immersive experiences, said Raja Kaduri, Senior Vice President and Chief Architect of Radeon Technologies Group of AMD. This is most evident with VR, which demands ever higher compute performance with rock solid consistency. Our new AMD Radeon Pro Duo with our Liquid VR SDK is the world's fastest platform for both content creation and consumption, enabling world-class graphics and VR experience. Bringing over the visual characteristics of the earlier released R9 Fury X and sharing in its all metal with backplate construction and lit LED Radeon logo, the Pro Duo is a stunning car to look at. Interestingly enough, RGG made the decision to move the water cooling tubing from the rear of the car to the side by the IO, which should help fitment in smaller cases since this is a bit longer of a card and the tubes coming out the back could pose an issue and it appears to be supporting the same radiator and fan combo that the Fury X did. Mind you, AMD did claim that it had a 500 watt TDP cooling solution. So this again should pose no issue. And as far as concerning power requirements, while we do not have the official specs in front of us, we do see that the card has three 8-pin PCI Express connectors. This is one more than the 295X2 had, but it does not mean that it will draw more power. It appears that AMD has stuck within the PCI Express guidelines, and it should make finding a suitable power supply much easier than it was with the 295X2. In terms of horsepower, AMD is claiming 16 teraflops of compute which suggests a full Fiji XT cores. Unsure of the Fury X style power tune or the more aggressive nano style power tune or possibly the ability to choose between the two. Now while we do not have any gaming results in front of us, we do have the provided results from 3D Mark from AMD. Let's take a quick look at those. Now AMD is using their test system that's comprised of an Intel Core i7-5960X, 16GB of DDR4, Windows 10, and AMD's driver 15.301, and these were the results. Now Firestrike Performance, the 1080p test, comes out with the 295X2 at 16,717, and the Pro Duo out quite a bit ahead with 20,150. The Firestrike Extreme runs at 1440p and the 295X2 gave us 9,250 and the Pro Duo came out again in the lead with 11,466. Now the big boy test, the 4K Firestrike Ultra, the 295X2 squeezed out 2,121 whereas the Pro Duo came out over 1,000 points ahead with the 6,211. So far, this is what we officially know, and with an availability of early quarter to 2016, what will this puppy run you? Surprisingly, AMD were able to keep it in line with the same launch price of the R9 295X2, so the Radeon Pro will be coming to the market with an anticipated SCP of $1,499. And that's all we have today, everyone. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned as we'll bring you more information as we get it.